Hello, and welcome to an attempt at fixing an issue that I found deceptively difficult. Now, last week on stream, I was trying to clamp rotational values a little bit in the way that you see here. You arrive to the minimum value, try to push a little bit further, and you can see it stays there. You go to the maximum value, try to push a little bit further, and you see that it does, in fact, stay there. The purpose I was trying to do it in this case was to be able to essentially create a very um, trusty hinge, I guess, for this door, so that in VR, when I try to open the door, push the door too far, it doesn't just go crazy and starts uh, flipping over all over the place. I know there are hinge joints to be able to do this, but I found them a little bit unwieldy. So I wanted to make something that would be simple to use and quite reliable, as you can see. Uh, it doesn't really go under that. It doesn't really go above that. Now, the issue I was having is actually, let me just get out of play mode here for a moment. The issue I was having is uh, if you go in the inspector and you try to rotate this, say to negative uh, 25 degrees, as we have here, this value up here that we can see in the inspector, you can't actually normally have access to that. Uh, this is something that is essentially just here uh, for for anybody that's currently, any developer that's currently working in the windows and in the inspector and such. Uh, this value doesn't exist. This is, this is a lie. If you try to grab the current local Euler angles of a given game object, you will only exclusively have values from zero to 360 degrees. Now, this is a problem when trying to clamp the values, say, uh, clamp the value at zero degrees, because if you pass this point and try to go into negative 25 degrees, as I was saying, uh, it won't give you negative 25 degrees as an Euler angle. What it will give you is 360 degrees minus 25, which is 333 degrees. If you're trying to clamp that value, to zero, what will happen is the door will suddenly swap over to be at 90 degrees because 335 degrees is closer to 90 than it is to zero. Now, I have resolved this issue by doing something a little mind bendy, and it's been giving me some trouble to actually explain what I did, but I'll give it a try. Also, I'd just like to remind you that the current iteration of this code that I've, I have in this project is going to be either linked or shared directly in the description below this video. If that is all you want, just something that kind of sort of works that you want to base yourself off of, feel free to pick it up. If you have improvements to it, I'd be more than happy to see them. I know there are a few improvements I'd like to add, but just because I don't really have a load of time on my hands, uh, I just want to make sure that somewhere online you're able to get this information. Now, the way I thought this through is I wanted to take the minimum value angle and the maximum value angle and split that in two because I decided it was good enough for us to have about 180 degrees from the center of these two angles to clamp to. Now, on the screen right now, you can see that there's a line over here that uh, splits in two once I pass that zero threshold. The white line represents the clamped value and the gray line represents the value I'm trying to give with the door. This blue line here is the center value between the minimum value and the maximum value. And this current iteration, at least, of the clamp it actually breaks the moment you pass 180 degrees. So if I pass it, you see that white line, it flips sides. But I decided that, you know, 180 degrees from that center value, mostly for what I was doing, is perfectly fine. Also, something that I expected would work, but doesn't seem to, is um, trying to have multiple angles at the same time. I would have thought that it would have given me like a window to work in, but it doesn't seem to work in this version. Once again, if anybody has improvements, I'd love to see them. Uh, as, uh, as far as I can tell, I, I may be one of the first ones making a video on this specific uh, like thing. 
uh, issue that we're having here. Now, once we have that center angle and we're trying to gauge, you know, 180 degrees from it to clamp on two sides, what I realized is that as long as this center angle happens to be in the first 180 degrees over here, everything that happens above this up to 180 degrees from that center point uh, clamps absolutely normally. So past 9 degrees up to 100, 125, etc, 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 all the way up to um, 225. Five, I want to say approximately yeah uh, yeah this just clamps over here absolutely normally we don't have to worry about it it's just a normal math f dot clamp you know you put your value in it you put your minimum value put your maximum value and everything is fine the issue comes on this side of the equation because once you pass that zero threshold um, as I mentioned in the inspector it gives you negative values but in uh, Euler angles, it never gives you negative values. What it gives you is numbers from 0 to 360. So what I'm doing is I'm essentially uh, faking it. <laughs> so once, uh, as long as this center angle happens to be above 180 degrees, everything that's under, uh, that's beyond 180 degrees from that center angle I'm essentially doing that number minus 360 degrees which would give me you know in this case negative 93 degrees it, it, it'll give us exactly those numbers you take that number you put it aside and you do the clamp on that that means that once you pass zero you actually have negative values to deal with Now, what happens if your center of your angle here happens to be past 180 degrees, right? If it's, if it's in this quadrant way over there. Well, the exact same thing happens, it's just in reverse. So on one of the two sides, let's say the angle happened to be over there. On one of these two sides, say this side over here, the clamps would happen perfectly normally. The problem would happen once you pass that value here over the zero threshold. And the math is essentially the same thing once again. So what is the difference between, uh, let's say, 382 degrees and 360 degrees? Well, if you put the math in, minus 360 degrees, that's 22 degrees. 22 degrees would actually be exactly what that um, Euler angle would give you. So all you have to do is 360 degrees plus what the Euler angle gives you, and it'll give you 382 degrees. And once again, that value, you store it aside, and you can clamp that value no problem. So it's not going to have that issue where it like decides that the other value is closer and clamps over to it. That's essentially the thinking behind all the code I made. And I actually, all I really had to do were these if statements right here. Now I've done it for X, Y, and Z. Uh, and it does work in a single axis for X, Y, and Z in this current iteration of the code. Once again, I'm sorry I didn't uh, quite have the time to really make sure it was perfectly uh, functioning in all situations, but it happens to be good enough for the project I'm on. So this may be where I leave it for now. Um, but it's just a bunch of if statements uh, placed in this case with like the uh, question mark colon kind of way of doing things because it was a little bit shorter this way visually. But as you can see, really simple if values. Once again, all this code, I'm going to link it down in the comments below so you guys can have something to base yourselves off of if you don't want to take an entire weekend of uh, drawing circles on papers trying to figure out how to fix this issue. And if anybody happens to have um, a mathematical way of doing what I'm doing here, or uh, something that clamps past that 180 degrees threshold that I was talking about, 
uh, I'd be more than interested in seeing that and I may make another video uh, explaining how to do that at a later date. But for now, I am just happy that I have my door that is able to clamp uh, at zero to 90 degrees and I'll be able to reuse this in different ways. Just a simple, <laughs> just a simple component that you can quickly drop on uh, your cabinet doors and it gives you a clamp.